Morning guys, it's seven o'clock in the morning over here in the UK, it's raining, um, but I want to talk about scammers. Um, in all honesty, a lot of people will complain about scammers in the Philippines, you know, being the locals, but if you're really going to get scammed out of some serious money, it's going to be foreigners. Um, if you look at the legacy scandal, I know a couple of foreigners have literally cost people their pensions. Um, if you look at something Jay's experienced with somebody trying to sell Burger Kings, so that's another one that's a bit dubious at best. Um, and yesterday some idiot tried to scam me with some sort of weird setup. But anyway, the, the reason I'm bringing this up is quite simply, don't assume when you go to the Philippines or wherever that you can trust the people around you. A lot of that trust is based on they're from the same country. There's a lot of people in the Philippines that quite simply shouldn't shouldn't be there, but possibly already wanted in their own country. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, so with business deals, unless you really know them, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Um, I mean, Jay's had that, the pizza experience, um, where obviously that was a bit of a nightmare. But at the same time, I've seen it where people have ripped people off for condos. I've seen it with a property development where the property development didn't happen. Um, I've seen it with an agent that took the money and not actually paid for the property. Um, you've got to turn around and really sort these out so that you've got a record of any transactions or whatever. It's, I mentioned before about buying a car, doing a transaction in the bank. You can do a bank account to bank account. If you can do that, you've got a, a transaction there that you may even be able to recover if you had to. Um, but also, you've got to understand that if you're buying a property and paying the installments, and it's a property that doesn't exist yet, you don't rely on the agent because it's um, it's quite common for agents to use your money and then try and put it back later when they get their wages. Um, but obviously, if the agent quits and then has no money, they're not going to put the money back. And there's no record of you giving them any money. So that's why the banking is important. But also try and go direct and not into the agent's bank account or anything like that. These are a lot of, a lot of things you have to watch for. Um, but also with scam artists, the, I mean, there's a lot of well, the term called e-beggings flying around right now. Um, my view on it is I'm against any begging. Um, but a, how can I define this? If you're buying something just because people want it, like a drone or something else like that, um, you have to ask, are they seeing you as stupid? because you're buying them whatever they want. You're giving them a Christmas list. Unless you're getting some of value out of it, then, you know, like, for example, uh, say say I gave somebody the business plans for something, and they set up the business, and then they sent me money uh, as a big thank you. That's, that's a little bit different, because uh, you've actually probably saved them two years of research. Um, but at the same time, if somebody's going, send me money so I can get my girlfriend's teeth fixed and stuff like that, you're like, that's stuff you should be paying, paying for yourself. You're not, you're not doing anything for it. You know, you know, and that's what I'm saying. You know, be aware. I mean, is that a scam? Well, no, it's pretty obvious that they're e-begging. Um, but on the back of that, you do find some things where people want donations for one thing and they're spending on another. Now, that's what I'd call scamming because the whole concept is based on you having a feeding program or something like that and they're building a new house with it so just be very wary of this sort of stuff because they do it all the time and after spending time in the philippines a lot of these people don't even have an ethics issue with it they couldn't care less um i mean i remember where there's a airsoft tournament um, where we were talking about charities, you know, doing stuff for, how do you tell if it's a, a foreign or a, a local? 
says because the foreigner does it to give money away, the local does it for money for themselves. And that that was basically a group of Filipinos told me that. Um, but I would say online, it's a little bit different. A lot of it is for their own pocket. Um, the big problem with YouTube on the negative side is it's encouraged people to make a living off it. And as the money went down with the YouTube, should we call it a strike or whatever, with the... Uh, advertisers that sort of nosedies their income well they got used to it so they'll find ways to keep it keep it up they also won't mention that it's recovered i mean i know myself my income's still down probably 15 percent but so what you know at the end of the day these guys started doing patreon and other things to make more money the money's pretty much recovered and they're still keeping the other bits on as well they just ain't mentioning the fact that the the rest of the stuffs recovered, um, but yeah, just be just be aware of these scammers and and I'm not calling the guys scammers that start doing a Patreon account. What I'm saying is, if somebody says they're going to do it for a feeding program, for example, and you find ninety percent of it goes in their pocket, I'd call that a scam. In the same way, if somebody was promising something and then doesn't deliver it. Um, if they paid for it as a service, I'd call that a scam. Because um, the, the whole point is they never delivered what they had promised. And these things go on all the time. And that, that's why I saw 7 o'clock in the morning I thought I'd bring it up because I had some really idiot. Uh, so the problem I have, I, I hate saying stupid American because then you get people saying, assume you may mean all Americans are stupid. The actual answer is... That American is stupid, and there are some very stupid Americans, but not all Americans are stupid. Um, but this dumb idiot even left a trail uh, which shows his, his begging for money um, because he he's run out of money, basically. So instead, he's tried to blackmail me with something which isn't even true, which is the funny thing. But anyway, enjoy your day. Uh, I'm probably going to do another two videos this morning because it's still early. I don't start work for two hours. So catch you later.